There are literally millions of different insects and bugs in the world. We tend to ignore them unless they annoy us by buzzing about our heads or crawling close to us. But some insects are nightmarishly terrifying and downright dangerous. They can cause intense pain on their enemies that'll last for hours or even days. Some deliver bites or stings that can even result in death. Here is a list of 12 of the most terrifying insects in the world. Before we begin, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Let's get started. Number 12. Driver Ants Dorylus, also known as Driver Ants or Siafu, is a large genus of army ants found primarily in Central and East Africa, although the range also extends to Southern Africa and Tropical Asia. Driver ants have the largest colonies of any other insect in the world. Each colony of driver ants has members of up to 22 million. Using their powerful cutting jaws, driver ants attack everything in their path, including snakes, birds, mammals, and even human beings. Their systematic search for prey involves climbing into trees and shrubs. Even elephants wouldn't have a chance from the group attack of driver ants. Driver ants typically kill thousands of different animals within a single raid. These insects don't usually sting their prey. Instead, driver ants rip their victims apart with their mandibles. A large part of their diet is earthworms. All Dorilla species are blind and, like most variety of ants, communicate primarily through pheromones. Number 11. Venomous Pus Caterpillars When you first see a pus caterpillar, it looks a lot like a lucky rabbit's foot or even the fuzzy ear of a stuffed teddy bear. But these fluffy insects are anything but sweet and cuddly. Pus caterpillars are highly venomous creatures. While these insects may look soft, their outer combs hide small, extremely toxic spines that stick into its catch. According to experts, a pus caterpillar sting feels like a bee sting, only worse. The pain immediately and rapidly gets worse after being stung and can even make your bones hurt. How bad the sting hurts depends on where you get stung and how many spines are embedded in your skin. Interestingly, pus caterpillars are poop throwers. They fling their poop away from their bodies. Paul believes that this behavior prevents parasites and other potential predators from attacking or harming the caterpillars. This thing is dangerous and gross. Yikes. Number 10. Kissing Bug What name do you give a bug that leaves bite marks on your face? You got that right, a kissing bug. This, however, is a kiss you don't want to encounter. The bug leaves lethal feces when it bites, which can cause a chronic illness that leads to flu-like symptoms. There's no cure for the illness, and in some cases, it causes an enlarged heart and the thinning of the colon. This bug is attracted to carbon dioxide, which humans breathe out, and that's the reason most of their bites are around the mouths. Their bites occur mostly at night, and they're said to cause a numbing effect on the area that they bite, meaning you don't feel it when you're being bitten. While bug spray works perfectly as a repellent, they can enter homes using any opening, and more so, they can get into door cracks easily. Time to do a home innovation. Number 9. Locusts Surprised? While they do not directly kill humans, the devastation that an invasion can cause has been responsible for crop devastation. The locusts will always eat, but you might not. Desert locusts, or Schistocerca gregaria, have also been called the world's most devastating pest, and for good reason. Swarms from these locust numbers increase and they become crowded. This causes a switch from a relatively harmless solitary phase to a gregarious sociable phase. In this phase, the insects are able to multiply 20-fold in three months and reach densities of 80 million per square kilometer. Each can consume 2 grams of vegetation every day. Combined, a swarm of 80 million can consume food equivalent to that eaten by 35,000 people a day. In 2020, locusts have swarmed in large numbers in dozens of countries, including Kenya, Ethiopia, Uganda, Somalia, Eritrea, India, Pakistan, Iran, Yemen, Oman, and Saudi Arabia. When swarms affect several countries at once in very large numbers, it's known as a plague. Number 8. Spitting Thick-Tailed Black Scorpion This is one of the largest scorpions and is also known as the South African Fat-Tailed Scorpion. It's the most dangerous scorpion in the southern regions of Africa. Its ubiquitously stout tail and stinger can deliver 4.25 milligrams of venom, and that's enough to kill an adult human. Its venom has the same potency as cyanide, but not every sting is immediately fatal. One unique characteristic of this scorpion is that it secretes and uses two different poisons. The first is more like a warning dose that's sufficiently potent to only immobilize small prey and serve as a warning shot. 
If the prey is not subdued or an aggressor doesn't relent its attack, the scorpion delivers a second dose, one that's potentially lethal. The scorpion uses this as a defense if it feels it's in a life-or-death situation. Another unusual feature of this scorpion is that it can actually spit its venom up to a distance of three feet. If its aim is right, it can temporarily blind or permanently damage the target's eyes. Despite the lethality of its venom, less than 1% of victims have died from this scorpion's sting. Even though you're unlikely to die from its venom, it is by no means a walk in the park. Symptoms that may manifest in victims include intense pain, sweating, muscular convulsions, drooling, and heart palpitations. Number 7. Deer Tick How dangerous are deer ticks? Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, an infected deer tick is a 100. Infected ticks are responsible for transmitting some serious and even deadly diseases like Lyme disease, Babesiosis, Anaplasmosis, and the emerging Powassan virus. Because you do not know which ticks are infected and which ones are not, it's important to know a deer tick when you see it and to protect yourself from contact with them. These blood-sucking members of the arachnid family were vaulted into the public consciousness in the mid-1970s when it was discovered that they are the primary and possibly only transmitters or vectors for Lyme disease. Lyme disease is a debilitating, though rarely fatal, infection that's often misdiagnosed because early symptoms closely resemble the flu. Victims usually have a slowly spreading bullseye-shaped rash when the tick attached, but not always. If untreated by antibiotics, patients can develop a variety of health problems, including facial paralysis, heart palpitations, arthritis, severe headaches, and neurological disorders. Lyme disease is currently one of the fastest-growing vector-borne diseases in the United States. More than 14,000 cases are reported annually, but because symptoms so closely resemble the flu and usually go away without treatment, scientists estimate as many as 9 out of every 10 cases go unreported. Number 6. Pork Tapeworm Tania solium, also known as the pork tapeworm, can cause epileptic seizures and other neurological problems in humans from ingesting eggs containing infective larvae. The breakdown of the egg shell occurs in the intestines, allowing the larvae to exit and enter the bloodstream. Once in the circulation, the larvae may settle in many types of body tissues. Sometimes larvae cross the blood-brain barrier and enter the central nervous system, or CNS, where the embryos develop into fluid-filled cysts, leading to a condition known as neurocystocercosis, which results in seizures and is one of the most dangerous parasitic CNS infections worldwide. Diagnosis of this neurocystocercosis is difficult due to the lack of specific clinical symptoms. The disease, which normally affects people in South America, Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa, has been exceptionally rare in Western countries. However, a few cases have been reported in the UK and the US. Number 5. Bed Bugs Humans have lived with bed bugs since the earliest days of our existence. Or more correctly stated, bed bugs have lived with humans. Since bed bugs are human parasites, our survival is critical to theirs. This may be one of the reasons bed bugs have not been known to transmit diseases to humans. However, while they've not been known to transmit diseases through feeding activities, there may still be health risks associated with bed bugs. They can be responsible for health issues that range from mild to very serious. The most common health issue is related to the itching that often comes along with bed bug bites. Many people experience red bumps or welts on their skin within a couple of days of a bed bug attack. In some cases, the reaction may take up to a week or two, and some people do not react at all. The bumps or welts look very similar to mosquito bite, but tend to stay with the afflicted person much longer, often two weeks or more. These bites can itch incessantly, and scratching is inevitable. That is where the danger comes in. Excessive scratching can cause damage to the skin that may allow the introduction of organisms of infection, some of them very dangerous. Number 4. Cockroaches Cockroaches are equal opportunity invaders. These nuisances can establish themselves wherever they can find reliable sources of food, water, and shelter. Unfortunately, people's homes are one of the major suppliers of all three of these cockroach necessities. If you do see one cockroach in your home, many more may be lurking nearby. These numbers may be alarming, but are cockroaches more than pests? Cockroaches aren't known to bite, but some common species do have heavy leg spines that can scratch your skin. More importantly, cockroaches are potentially harmful to your health. They are not the most sanitary insect. They feed on garbage, breed in sewage, and lay waste all over your kitchen counter. Although cockroaches haven't been linked to any specific outbreaks, they play a role in spreading certain infections. 
According to the World Health Organization, cockroaches are known or suspected carriers of the microorganisms that cause diarrhea, dysentery, cholera, leprosy, plague, typhoid fever, and viral diseases such as poliomyelitis. Though they likely won't be the main cause of a disease spreading, they can play a supplementary role. Number 3. Sandflies Sandflies, they don't seem so bad. Yeah, sure, they're annoying and they cause itchy little bumps, but they're completely harmless, right? Wrong. Yeah, they're definitely annoying, as most people who've been trying to enjoy a trip to the beach or a picnic will let you know. But they can also carry diseases, which they then transmit to humans while on the hunt for fresh blood. Sandflies are tiny and about an eighth of an inch long, and they're active during dusk and dawn. For the most part, anyone bitten by a sandfly will get a red bump and blisters. Sometimes, though, inflammation and dermatitis can follow, not to mention severe skin sores for weeks or months after they bite. They can also cause parasitic diseases that require ongoing medical care. Fortunately, calamine lotion or hydrocortisone cream can reduce itching and help them heal. Anyone with an ulcer or persistent sore should see a doctor. Number 2. The Eye Worm Transmitted by horseflies breeding in the forest areas of West and Central Africa, Loyasis is known as African Eye Worm and gets its name from its most infamous telltale sign, the visible passing of the Lao Lao Worm through the eye. The larvae of this nematode worm infects humans through fly bites, and the adult can travel through the body tissues for years. Most common in West and Central Africa, symptoms include itching, swelling, and even brain damage in very unlucky victims. The worm only becomes obvious when it reaches the eye, where it can be easily seen and, more horribly, felt by its victim as it squirms across the soft tissue beneath the cornea. This is also when the worm is fairly simple to remove under local anaesthetic. Number 1. Bot Flies These flies will make you cry. They don't necessarily live such a long life, and that said, they have the most peculiar habits. First off, they mate, then hatch the eggs, and then stash them into the bodies of insects such as ticks and mosquitoes. When the eggs are left out, they easily burrow into our skin and feed off the skin until they're all grown up, and fly away and repeat the process all over again. The larvae of the eggs cause holes to open up on the skin of victims, making them vulnerable to bacteria and diseases, which can easily enter through the wounds. There are a few ways to treat someone who's been affected by bot flies. The eggs can be removed by tweezers. Doctors also prescribe some antibiotics or even bacon, which is less painful than tweezers. All you have to do is attach the piece of bacon to the affected area, and the bot flies will attach themselves to the bacon instead. Just don't eat the bacon afterwards if you know what's good for you. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.